What's up guys? Today I'm going to be making a video of Rubik Cubics. And I really love Rubik Cubics because they can do like any other tricks like this. And I really love that. And I have like two boxes here that I can unbox. I have this one and I have this one. And, I, and this is my collection, but now I have these two new boxes. So I'm gonna have a bigger collection and a better collection. Okay, so now let's start unboxing from these Rubik's Cubics. This has eight Rubik's Cubics in just one little box. Well, I mean, that makes sense because some of them are big and some of them are small. Whoa, so we have a basic three on three here. This is how it moves. I love this like quality because it's like really soft and all of that. That's my favorite quality. And I also have a different quality, which I don't really like as I like this one. This one is better for me. Okay, so now let's, let's see the other one. Whoa, so we have like a leaf type of, oh, uh, a Rubik's Cube like this one. Whoa, it moves super gently, I love it. And it moves different than it moves these ones because like, it's like a leaf sort of Rubik's Cubic and I like it, so. And we have the original one and the easiest one, the beginner one we have, the two on two. There. There, I saw two sides right away. Okay, so now we have the next one. Whoa, this is a cool one. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a sharp and dangerous Rubik's Cube. That's like a knife. This is a dangerous Rubik's Cube. This is how it moves. And I really like that like it's the same quality as all of them because like, I love this quality. Whoa, this is a weird spinning tactic thing. Ah, I'm just messed up at it, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> okay, so now we have like the hard ones. We have a four by four. Four by four is not that hard for me. I could sell like two or three sides on this one. But I'm still working on it because I have instructions and the instructions helps me like figure out because it just tells me all the moves. Okay, so now we have a super hard one. This is the biggest box. We have like a soccer ball, a soccer ball shape and it moves pretty like pretty soft and gentle. And this one will take me like a year or two for sure to solve because this one is, oh, I don't even want to talk about it so hard. I can't even solve one side on this one. I'm so close to solving one side, but it's like, I just can't. Okay, and I have the triangle one. This is probably my favorite one out of them all. And there it is. And I like all the moves it does. Like for instance, it could just move the corners by itself like this. So like if I need it to be on the red, I just swap like this. And I really love that. Oh, okay, so that's all the boxes. Now let's start unpacking this one. Okay, so now it's time to unbox the Yes Cube Snakes. Whoa, I have three packs. I have a green one, a yellow one, and a red one. So I guess I'll want to start with the red one because I like the color of the red one. Let me see how it could move. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. 
I really like this snake type of idea that they made with the Rubik's Cube. They also have a green color and a yellow color. And it, it's actually pretty hard to make like some type of elephant, dog, or ball. But it's pretty fun too to figure out some new stuff with these figures. And we also have two more left. Two more left. And we have this ball, three, three on three Rubik's Cube. It's just different that instead of the cubes, it's the balls. And the balls make it like not that cool because there's like holes. And the holes just like make my fingers like like stuck and I don't like that. But but it's still pretty nice to play like with some with some of these like cool Rubik's Cube. Wow, this actually moves quicker than the 3x3. Three three. Yeah, it does. Wow, that's cool. Okay, so now we have the last but not least, we have this gray one. And this one is pretty hard to solve. We only got it one day ago. And <clears throat> I think if I look at the instructions and I study it a little bit, I'll figure out, I'll figure it out. And I can't wait to solve all of these Rubik's cubes that I got. Guys, comment down below what's your favorite cube. My favorite one, um, I guess was totally a triangle one. But the hardest, hardest one was the Mega Mix because this is like a soccer ball type of thing. And this one, it's hard too, but it's it's not that hard as this one. But I like this one more because it's like cooler and sharper and all of that. <laughs> okay guys, see you in the next video. Bye everybody.